Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how to make a coin magnet. So here I have five uh, coins and when the player moves to it, it will fly to the player. Yeah, let's get to it. So what I have here in my scene is uh, a player and the player has a simple movement script. We have a rigid body 2D. And we have a capsule collider 2D that's not set to trigger. So let's start creating the coin. So let's right click, uh, create an empty game object. Let's reset the position and call this uh, coin. And uh, underneath that one, create a 2D sprite, make a circle. And this one we can call the uh, coin graphic. Now choose your sprite. I already have this uh, gold coin. Let's uh, scale it up by two. Let's move it down to the player just to see it. On the coin, let's create a circle collider 2D. This will be the radius. Uh, when your player hit this collider, then the coin will move uh, to the player. If you hold down the Alt key, then you can just pick one of these uh, dots here, and then you can drag it out. So let's keep. Uh, let's set this to seven. And then we need to create a new uh, script. So let's create. C sharp script and this one let's call it coin magnet. Now drag it to uh, to the coin and let's open it up. So here we need uh, a public float for the coin speed. This is how fast the coin should move uh, from its current position to you. Then we need a public transform. And this is the player. And then we need a private ball called ready to move. Then down in the up, uh, update, sorry, we can remove the start function. Update, we can say if ready to move is equal to true then transform dot position is equal to vector three now we will make a move towards so vector three dot move towards and here we want to say here you need two positions. You need your position and the position where the coin needs to go. So first, it's your position. And this is, of course, the coin. So it's just transform.position. And then we need to go to the player position. So player.transform.position. And then we need to do it with uh, some kind of speed. So here we have the coin speed. And we will multiply it with time.delta time. So it will fit to any devices. Yes. Now let's make an untrigger enter. So the collider will work. Remember to take the untrigger enter 2D. Uh, this is for 2D games. If you choose the, the one without 2D, it's of course for 3D games. Here we can say if collision the game object tag is equal to player then ready to move is equal to true and player is equal to game object dot find with tag and here we need to find the player dot transform so why do we re uh, write it here that's because let's say you have 10 coins in your game and the player only 
uh, enters five of them, then the game only need to f- um, to use resources to find the coin when you enter that specific coin. If you put it up in the update or in the start function, then in when the game starts, it will it will find all the 10, 20, 30 coins in the game uh, in the beginning. Here it will only find the player when you enter that collider. So let's save this and head back to Unity. And let it compile. And now we have a speed. Let's set it to five. And the player, it should automatically find him. Remember to tag your player, so take player, tag. It should be here as default. If it's not, then hit play, uh, add tag. Hit the plus sign, write player. Go back, press the player, and tag him as player. Remember, this name sh- has to be exact, the exact same name as we r- did right in the script, else it will not work. Then on your coin, remember, But to set the trigger uh, on. So now let's try hit play to this and see what happens. So if I move to the coin, it's moving to the player. But right now you can see it's just following, but it is moving towards me. And this is what the move towards script are doing. It is moving from its current position to the player. Good. Now click on your coin graphic. Let's create a circle collider 2D. This one needs to be a lot smaller. Something like this. And create a new script. And this one will uh, be called coin collider on the coin graphic let's put the coin colli- coin collider open it up and here we just need uh, a reference to the parent so public game object call it parent And we can remove start and update. And on collision, here we will use on collision, enter 2D. Remember to take the 2D. And here we'll say if collision dot game object dot tag is equal to player, then destroy parent. And here you can all also add if you need any ki- kind of uh, points. So here you can add points. So if your uh, coins have to be plus one or you need some additional points or anything, you can add it here before it destroys. Remember to add it before. Now save, hit back, let it compile. Let me uh, bump up the speed. So let's set it to 25 instead. Hit play. Let's move. Whoops. So what did I miss? That's because, let's see it. What on collision enter and it's enter the player and we'll destroy. Oh, we forgot to add the parent. The parent here. Let's take the, that is the coin. Let's add it here. Now hit play again. Let's move to it. And it destroys. So a good thing to do now is take your coin. Drag it to uh, the, the folder. Now you have a prefab. So now you can simply just duplicate this coin. Move it around. It's something like this. Now when you hit play. They will all go to you. 
yeah, that was what I had to show you in this video. I really hope it uh, helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next time.